in today's lecture we will look at how to find the limit of some trigonometric functions okay so limit of trigonometric function this is what we are going to learn in this class so let's see we will start with very simple formulas and some examples and then we will proceed with some difficult and more advanced problems so first of all we should remember that okay limit x tends to 0 and then sine of x by x is equal to 1 okay so this is one of very important formula that you should remember okay then what from this now your task is to derive okay the next question is find limit okay limit 1 minus cos of x by x square okay so x tends to 0 so in all these limit problems where you get trigonometric functions so of course you should be knowing all the basic trigonometric identities so important to learn the different identities in trigonometries okay in trigonometry so we have this and we don't know okay we cannot directly so find the limit okay if we try to put x is equal to 0 in this function what we will get so 1 minus cos of 0 is 1 minus 1 which is 0 and this is 0 square which is 0 by 0 form so we cannot find the limit directly by substitution because this is of the form 0 by 0 we should try to simplify this one okay because 0 by 0 we are getting at x tends to 0 so what happens is that we know that okay 1 minus cos x can we simplify to get some relation between these two okay I already know so this is the thing I already know that limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1 so can we do somehow get this one in the form of this okay so let's see I know that okay cos x is equal to cos square x by 2 minus sine square x by 2 isn't it or I can write this is 1 minus 2 sine square x by 2 okay this implies what that 1 minus cos of x is equal to 2 sine square x by 2 okay now let's see do we get something here so now limit I can write this one as 2 sine of x by 2 okay and this is square so I will write it separately sine of x by 2 okay and then we have x square but oh we see something do we get here something now what should I do I am seeing something here so x tends to 0 sin x by 2 x square is also here can we complete the puzzle okay so this we can write as the expression sin of x by 2 sin of into sin of x by 2 so by we can write it as x by 2 into x by 2 
and then I multiply with 2 ok so this is the same expression isn't it so limit x tends to 0 and there is of course a 2 here but now what it is becoming like ok so this is important x tends to 0 so I can put now substitute z is equal to x by 2 so as x tends to 0 then z also tends to 0 so this becomes limit z tends to 0 2 sine of z sine of z and this is z this is z ok and 2 into 2 so now what we get so this is our familiar sine z by z sine of z by z and these are the numbers we can ok so this is what we can write 2 sin x by 2 sin x by 2 so we just wrote it as 2 sin x by 2 sin x by 2 then here we did sin so x by 2 x by 2 so there is 1 2 remaining so now this becomes what so this is now if we have limit f of x into g of x x tends to a so if fx is l and this is m so limit is l into m so here limit z tends to 0 sin z by z is 1 so this becomes half into 1 square is equal to half ok so this was about finding the limit of 1 minus cos x by x square ok next we will look at another problem ok and let's see what it will be like so we will solve one more simpler problem that is limit sin of 3x by x so that is very simple now you should be telling it straight forward so again we see this you should just think okay what it is looking like do I know limit of something very similar and I say yes so we know limit sine of x by x x tends to 0 is equal to 1 and I say that okay this is very similar but only thing is you have to put a 3 here and a 3 here so now multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3 z is equal to 3x so x tends to 0 then z tends to 0 this becomes limit 3 sine of z by z ok and z tends to 0 so this is 3 into 1 which is 3 ok so this was very simple now let's see a little bit advanced problem that is limit tan 2x by sine of 5x x tends to 0 now this one we see that ok it's we haven't seen this problem but we will here see one more result let's see what happens just trying out tan of x by x as x tends to 0 so what should be the value of this one so this we can write as limit x tends to 0 sine of x by x into cos x low so this we already have standard form so this is f of x ok so this is f of x and this is 
g of x okay so now as x tends to 0 this fx limit is 1 this is if i x tends to 0 1 by cos 0 is 1 so this is also 1 hence we find that limit x tends to 0 tan of x by x is equal to 1 so we get one more result so if you see anything similar so you can use it now so what we can do is limit x tends to 0 I can now try to bring this one in my playground okay so it is sign tan of 2x by 2x here I put okay and because I'm 2x here and then sine of 5x is already there so I put a 5x here okay so x and x is getting cancelled so I have to have a 5 here and I have to have a 2 here okay so now this problem is about so this one let's see now so this is f of x okay and this is g of x and there are some constants okay so we again know that if limit f of x x tends to a is l and limit g of x x tends to a is equal to m then limit product rule fx into gx x tends to 0 is equal to l into m okay so we can now use this formula so as x tends to 0 so again you can substitute this but now as your master so we can directly say that as x tends to 0 so this angle theta tends to 0 and here also this tends to 0 so this limit is 1 sine 5x by x 5x this limit is also 1 so we will get here the limit as so these two are 1 so we will get 2 by 5 okay so this is the answer okay so now let's look at a few more 